cares? I'm not gonna show off the rest of this minigame battle related stuff because that freaking oyster hunt took way too long and I'm just not in the mood to do that, to torture myself like that anymore. So we are gonna, like, just get the rest of the stuff over with. So here we are in the control room. Here you can, uh, listen to the crew sounds, listen to music and character voices. You can, uh, check your cruise mileage points and you can get, like, a bunch of souvenirs and stuff like, I purchased Burdo and Dry Bones and then I can purchase the rest of this stuff. I purchased the Brutal Difficulty, uh, staff records, why not? I have a bunch of this stuff to blow off anyway. Or I have a bunch of cruise mileage points to blow off. Let's just get this stuff. There! Er, I don't think we bought everything. Annoy mode. What does this do? This opens the annoy mode. Press... I think either you can already do that. And how do I not get the character voices? I already purchased that like a long time ago. Alright. Let's get the character voices. Map sounds. Warp shot secret. Did you know you'll pay less at orb shops when you're behind? That what? Oh, that was not worth the. F oh. I just wasted 500 crew's mileage points on that. All right, more souvenirs. And that's what you can find in the little souvenir shop. Then there's mini game package where you just can check everything like that. Uh, all games, easy games, action games, hard games, or weird games. Very interesting. And there's a picture of uh, Princess Peach's castle uh, right right next to uh, the mini game packages. Then we have the the travel diary for all the records that I've set. Let's look at some of the staff records. How many party cruise records? How many times I played it? Uh, I played party mode or party cruise 35 times. I played Pagoda Peak the most, and then I have played Grand Canal seven times, uh, Pyramid Park two times, Neon Heights seven times. Windmillville three times, and Bowser's Enchanted Inferno five times. So, I don't know how that's even accurate. I'm pretty sure I played a lot more before. Decathlon. Castle Records? What the heck? I don't know what this is. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about that. Alright, more mini game records. I'm pretty sure that's what this was. Or, no, this is what the staff got. These are the staff records from the people that developed this game. And then they, these are the records that I've set. Alright. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. That's it for uh, the duty shop. Or, no, this is the freaking duty free shop. This is not the control room. I said it was the control room. This is the control room right here. I don't know what the heck I was saying. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, so here is just where you can adjust things. You can adjust the mic settings because with the GameCube, Nintendo released a mic that you can use where if you like press the button, you could say like, say this or whatever. It goes for like particular mini games, like the mic mini games, which you have to have like uh, at least one human player in order to play those. So I can uh, do no mic, where there will, you can play no mic mini games, or I can use a mic. Now I do have one of these, but I just prefer to use the controller, so we're going to keep the controller setting on. Display the board. Oh yeah. The controller's rumble feature, I can turn that off. And now we're going to turn it back on. Boom, there we go. Surround. Switch to mono, stereo, or surround sound. We're just gonna keep it how it ends with surround sound. And then the mic test, which I don't think we really need to do that. So I guess that's it for the control room. And then I will do one last thing. Or at least I'll attempt. I'll attempt to do this. So here's what my plan is with all of this. I am, uh... Or this whole recording session, I'm planning to cut it all up into three parts. Like, part one will be the deluxe and mini game. No, wait a second. That... No, part one will be the deluxe cruise show off. The second part will be the mini game cruise, and then part three will be the duty free shop, uh, the control room, and what I'm about to show off right now, which is uh, the Bowser or the final boss battle of Mario Party Seven, which is Bowser's lovely lift. And I'm probably not going to be able to complete this because I haven't beaten this in a long time, but at least you'll know what, or I'll explain what happens when you beat this. This is the boss battle you have to beat in story mode, and I'll, and I'll inform you on how to beat this, Go! so you don't fail like me. Finish! Oh my goodness, I'll try a few more attempts. This just shows you how much I suck. Uh, let's just do practice, so we don't have to keep going back and forth. We can just press Z. Alright, so... I... If I remember correctly, you have to, like, hit the die... Hit the dice blocks. And you have to get, like, a... Go! Like the same number. Oh shoot! Oh no, you don't have to get the same number. It just goes up whenever it has to go up. No, 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 no! But... <laughs> No! Who who invited you to this freaking party? Oh my Okay then. Screw you. Screw both of you. Alright. We'll probably do the try this one last time and then if I go if it ends too short then I'll do it one last time. Like if I get out way too quickly, then... then I'll try it one last time. Even though I can't really show the credits. Don't you dare do that. Nope, 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 nope. 
Yeah, I... <laughs> this boss battle is hard. right there all right so I'm not gonna be able to show that off because I am so limited on time and this is not really, really a good way to end off and let's play ow damn I slammed that controller against my leg really hard ow Well, anyway, guys, this is like T75 for LT75, and I hope you enjoyed this project as as much as I have. I have had really fun playing this game, and I've and I hope you guys have enjoyed this let's play really far. But so this is like T75 for LT75 signing off, and I will see you for the next project. Bye bye.